Hello, my name is Sylvia Jabet. I work in developer relations at Africa's Talking. And in this video walkthrough, I will walk through how to set a callback URL when using the Africa's Talking USSD API. In this case, we have already gone through the code walkthrough and you have your code running. So now we will get to set the callback URL. What we will do is go to our code where we were using our port number 3004 as seen in this case. And we will start, we'll open a new terminal and start our code and ensure that it is running. So we'll use the command npm start to start the local host running, yes. And on successful running, we get the message running on localhost 3004. Now for this walkthrough, we'll also assume that you have ngrock, which is a platform that enables you to get a forwarding address, and that is already installed in your machine. So what we'll do is now use the ngrock command to get a forwarding address for the port number 3004. So we'll type in the command ngrock http 3004. You get a window as shown, and as you can see in the forwarding section, we have an address that forwards to 3004. Copy that address, which you will now use to set your callback URL. We'll now head to the Africa's Talking account. You open your account and on the app that you have created, you select it, it's shown in the demonstration. Once you have selected the app that you're using, you go to the USSD section and service goods. In this case, we'll be using a shared service code which you are already given. And what we're going to do is set its callback URL so that it can start functioning. You can map it to your code. So once you have your, you look at the URL part, in this case, in our code, we use slash USSD. What we do is go to the actions part. In the callback, we paste the ngrock forwarding address that we received. And since our code has the section slash ussd once we have pasted the address you add slash ussd at the end and save that callback as a result you will get a success message that your callback has been updated now you can use your ussd and you'll be able to get reports on your terminal on grok on the use of that ssd as well as having it logged on your console since you input that in your code as well that is how you set your callback url for ussd and now we can see how the ussd works thank you